Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be creating this New Year's Eve look and I wanted to incorporate silver in it because I don't know, every time I think of New Year's, I think silver for some reason. I am excited for the new year to come and I wish you guys a very happy new year and that you have a very successful New Year's and you have a lot of fun. I don't know where I'm going to be at, but I hope I don't stay home that day because that's just not happening again. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys can learn something from this, recreate it, and I will see you guys on my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't done so already, leave a comment down below on what would you like to see next, and don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms. I am currently on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. I will be linking each and every one of those down below. Um, but yeah, there's enough rambling and let's jump right into the video. Guys, so we are going to begin with our hair and we are going to be taking this very cool pen form dry shampoo and putting that all over our hair and then I am taking my PYT curling iron and just leaving that for a few seconds, sit there and then just scrunching it up and doing the same and doing the same step on each piece of my hair and then I am taking the hairspray which is also very cool and a pen form little too. Next, we're taking Makeup Geek Barcelona Beach and we're applying that all over our lid. This is going to be a transition shade. And then in the Sigma E40, we are taking the Cool Bear also by Makeup Geek and applying that all over our lid and also to the outer corner of our eyes. Next, taking ColourPop Glitterati, we are applying that in the center of our lid with a Sephora brush. This is a dual fiber brush. I believe these work way better than using any other type of brush for this these texture shadows. And then we're just taking a little bit more of the cold bear and applying that in the inner corner of our eyes and outer V and then everything out on the Sigma E40 brush. Now I'm just showing you guys how I ring out my liner, just little basic steps on how to achieve a ring liner. If you want me to do a whole video on that, I can just let me know in the comments down below. For lashes today, we are using Lady Lashes in the style of Miami. And for foundation, we are going to be using the Mars Sheer Glow in the shade Stromboli and bringing that out with a beauty blender. For our concealer, we are going to be using the Shape Tape Concealer in light medium. And I just decided to have fun with it, so I'm just drawing a whole bunch of little dots and, of course, a diamond on my face because we are going to be light. Very glowy on that day. <laughs> And for concealer, for the contouring concealer, we are using the Morphe concealer in the shade Toffee Nut. And I am just using this to cream contour. So we are doing the whole shebangs today because obviously it's New Year's and you have to be a little extra. And then we are going to begin by blending out the lighter shades before blending out the darker shades of our face. Next, we're going to be baking for at least two minutes or less, no more than that. And my lids just gave me a kiss. <laughs> and we are going to be taking all of that excess powder off with a dual fiber brush that I got in Walgreens when I was like in high school. This brush has been with me ever since day one, and it's still good to go. Um, but yeah, we're using that dual fiber brush, and we're just taking all of that excess powder out, and then to contour. Or to set our contour, most likely we are going to be using the NYX powder foundation in the shade Cinnamon Spice on a Morphe M503 brush. Then we are taking Sigma Cora de Rosa on an E3 by Morphe. And we are just taking a little bit of that powder off because as you can see it was very pigmented. That blush is like super duper pigmented. For highlighter, we are using No Illuminizer by The Balm on a Sigma E42 brush. And then setting that with the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray. I do have a coupon code for Gerard Cosmetics. It saves you 35% off your purchase. So I will leave that down below so you guys can check that out. And then for our lips, we're using Kylie Cosmetics Candy Candy K. And then we are taking Oyster Girl by MAC, this is a lip gloss, and we are topping that off with that. And this is the finished look. Stay tuned, I am going to be 
doing a outfit at the end as well. 